Hi guys, this is part 2 of making Google's Magic Cat Academy game on Scratch. So in part 1 I showed you how to code this intro. I showed you how to code the text, the momo, the ghost and our pen. So in this video I'll be showing you how to code the other ghost and the boss. So let's get started. So you could find two sprites called ghost 2 shapes and ghost 2. And first what you need to do is click on ghost 1 shapes and then copy all of these blocks to ghost 2 shapes. So you could just drag and copy. And then right click and clean up all the blocks. So I'll minimize the screen. So the first thing you need to do is when I receive start ghost one and click on this and let's make a new message called start ghost two and then a new message called delete shape two. and change this to delete shape 2 and then click on variables and let's make a new list called goes to shapes for all sprites and let's hide this and replace all the ghost 1 shapes with ghost 2 shapes So make sure you replace everything. And now click on my blocks. And then what you need to do is remove these two blocks. And then make a block called set shape. And then tick run without screen refresh and OK. And another block called draw shapes. And tick run without screen refresh. And now we need to set shapes. Wait one second and then we need to draw them. And when I receive set shapes, we need to repeat tick random from 2 to 6. And we need to add item pick random from 1 to 4 of possible shapes to go to 2 shapes. And then this whole thing to define those shapes. And change this go to ghost 1 to ghost 2. And make sure you broadcast delete shape 2. And now let's code the ghost. So click on ghost 2. Click on ghost 1. Let's copy all of these blocks. To goes to then right click and clean up blocks when green flag click we need to hide switch all start ghost one we start ghost two length of ghost two shapes and then we need to broadcast start ghost two start ghost two Length of goes two shapes. Start goes two. Start goes two. And then what you need to do is just for now set hashtag to 8.5 and remove this time block. And we need to change this to hashtag and remove this time. And now right click on this time variable and delete it. And now make a view variable called time. For this part only and now we need to glide time seconds to momo and if time is change this to greater than 4 then we need to change time by negative 0.5 and then we need to set our time to 8.5 and then we need to set goes defeated to zero 
and chain this to when I receive start goes to and broadcast start goes to and now click on make a variable and let's make a variable for length 2 for all sprites and then replace this length 1 variable with length 2 and then we need to set length 2 to length of goes 2 shapes so okay now let's just start the game so now let's start the game And now you can see we got two ghosts, so our ghost two works. So now I'll be showing you how to code the health. So click on the health sprite and we got five costumes starting from five lives to one. So at first when green flag click we need to hide. And when I receive start we need to just wait for two seconds until that text disappears. And then we need to forever switch costume to grab operators, join, just leave the first one as blank, and help. So at the start, we need to show. So now I'll be showing you how to call the boss. So click on the boss sprite, and we got the volcano boss. There are 12 costumes for the animation. And when green flag, click. We need to hide and then when I receive start, just start, we need to set goes defeated to zero and hide. And we need to wait until goes defeated equals 20. And then we need a broadcast boss. So this will wait until you defeat 20 ghosts and then you will get the boss you can change this value to anything you want. And then we need to show our boss and we need to go to x0, y0. And when I receive boss we need to have that boss animation for that forever. Next costume we need to wait 0 0.095 seconds. And then when I receive boss, we need to wait until duplicate. Let's make a new list called boss shapes for all sprites. Length of boss shapes equals zero. And then we need to change our score by 5000. So you could add any value you want. And then we need to broadcast win. And now we need to when I receive lose or win, we need to stop other scripts on this sprite. Just duplicate win and just copy all of the, this block to every other sprite. When I receive win, we need to stop other script in the sprite and when I receive lost the ghost as well. When I receive lost and when I receive win. So make sure you copy both of these blocks to every sprite and now click on boss shapes to code our boss shape and for that we just need to copy our code in goes to shapes or goes to one. So for that let's just copy to the boss shape so I'll just grab it here so it's easy.
and now right click and clean up blocks and when I receive boss we need to delete all of boss shapes all the ghost 2 shapes into boss shapes so let's change all of them to the boss shapes and then when I receive loss we need to stop a description in this sprite and we need to broadcast a new message called delete boss shapes and then change this when I receive delete shape 2 to delete boss shapes and delete boss shapes we need to go to the boss and we need to go to front layer and we need to change our Y by negative 50 and now just remove both of these blocks and then click on my blocks and make a block called set shapes Check run without screen refresh and draw shapes. Run without screen refresh. And then we need to set shapes. Wait one second forever draw shapes. Define set shapes and define draw shapes. And now in this define set shapes blocks, we need to repeat. 20 remove that pick random block and we need to repeat 20 so it has 20 shapes to draw because it's the boss so you could change this value to anything and now click on ghost 2 and duplicate and when I receive boss we need to stop other scripts in this right hide and stop this script and just duplicate this to ghost 2 shapes and instead of hiding we need to broadcast delete goes to shape and go to the ghost one and just remove this broadcast and we need to hide and on the ghost one shape we need to change this to delete goes to one shape and now let's code Momo so for that click on Momo and when I receive start we got this broadcast loss block and now let's code the boss so when I receive boss we need to glide 5 seconds to negative 16 negative 93 and then we need to change our health by negative 1 and now grab this if statement and if health is greater than 0 so if health is greater than 0 we need to go to negative 2 and y91 and then we need to glide 5 seconds to negative 16 y negative 93 and we need to change our health by negative 1 duplicate the same thing and add it again duplicate it and duplicate and duplicate 5 times and on the final one remove this light and change health by and then just keep this go to x block and now let's code the end so click on the end sprite and we got two the you lost and you won so when we flag click we need to hide and we need to go to x0 y0 when i receive loss we need to go to x0 y0 show which costume to costume number 
So the last costume is costume number two. So switch costume to costume number two. And we need to stop all sounds. And forever we need to play sound lost until done. And when I receive one, switch costume to costume one and play sound victory. Okay, now let's go the backdrop. So before that, click on the help sprite and we need to show after this delay block and now click on the backdrop sprite and now let's call the boss so when i receive boss switch backdrop to backdrop 3 which is the boss backdrop and then when i receive lose We need to stop all sounds and stop other scripts in this right and duplicate and chain this to win and click on the momo sprite and when i receive one so when I receive win, we need to hide and stop other scripts in this sprite. Just duplicate and when I receive loss. So now I'll be showing you how to code the thumbnails. So this is our last set of code. So when green flag click, we need to go to front layer. And then we need to go forward just add some 1 and just add some zeros. And then we need to set ghost effect to 100. And make sure you show this by click on this icon. And now you can see our thumbnail. And now you can see our thumbnail work. So now let's test the game. And now you can see we got the lives and we got both of our ghosts. So now we got the boss and we got 20 shapes to draw before Momo lose all the lives. And you can see our end screen also works. So Magic Cat Academy game works. So if you like this video make sure to give it a like. And if you want to get more this on this channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon. And if you find this video useful or interesting, make sure to share it with your friends. So see you with another awesome Scratch tutorial.